Hello guys, welcome to another vid. I'm going to be doing a ODBD2 scanner for your car today. Um, from launch. Thank you for sending me this one. Um, I'm going to be doing a review. Uh, going to do a quick unboxing first and then uh, we'll take it out to the vehicle and have a look. It does support vehicles from 1996 to newer, the uh, Audi BD2 and CAN, the standard ISO 9141 protocols as it states there. I don't have a new car so I won't be testing this on a new vehicle but as this is quite a new device it should work on the new ones as well. Um, well we're going to be trying this one out on our, our little micro. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packet. After you've opened your packet you'll uh, you'll have an insert card inside which um which is going to look like this. You're going to have a few simple instructions in here. Um, basically just gives you the uh, layout of the unit itself and then um, we've got preparation which is turn the vehicle on check the battery is in within 9 to 18 volts and the throttle is in the closed position which means your foot is off the throttle um, you obviously locate your diagnostic socket and then uh, plug it in usually within 12 inches of your steering wheel or within the drivers area um, but you'll see that a little bit later so um, that's that little bit nice compact little device there um, remove the little thing off the screen um, the idea of this device is you can keep it in your vehicle all the time you could just put tuck it away in your glove box or something like that um, as we know that if you need to find out what your faults are if you have an engine management light come up on your uh, dashboard um, sometimes the garages can charge you a lot of money just to plug a device like this in just to tell you what the fault is um, probably looking at at least 65 pounds upwards um, basically just to plug this device into your car um, obviously get yourself one of these um, very reasonable price keep this in your glove box and uh, if you've got any problems um, you can plug it in and uh, have a look straight away uh, if you've got a REC or breakdown recovery or green flag or whoever then um, this sort of device could be very handy as well because if you were to plug it in you could then tell the uh, breakdown assist people what your fault is and uh, as to whether it could possibly be repaired on the side of the road or um, maybe it'd have to be towed to a garage or something uh, basically it's just a standalone device the power for the device comes from the um, ODBD2 connector in your car so uh, you don't need any batteries or anything like that um, uh, you've got a protective cover there and um, there's your little plug obviously we've got a few rubberized buttons on there as well which are um, which are well made they all have a, they have a nice click as well, they don't feel cheapy. Um, the screen feels quite good as well. Uh, it's got uh, got a few screws to hold it all together. And it feels very robust actually. It's uh, very good, it doesn't feel all cheap and plasticky and twisty. It's, um, it's quite nice. Nice solid cable as well, so um, that's, all, that's all nicely moulded there on the ends as well which is good because uh, you don't want your cables being pulled out so actually overall on construction and um, looks very well made right let's um let's go and try it in the car we're in the car i've got my tester so uh let's plug it in and try it put it into your um put it into your diagnostic port And um, as we can see there, it uh, loads up on its first screen. Um, if 
first of all you need to go into your tool setup um, your language and obviously select your English we go back um, unit of measure we'll do metric so, okay we'll leave that one then go back right then we go to um, if you've got a fault light and um, so let's go to diagnostic we'll go through the uh, the processing here where it searches the different um, protocols to link to your ECU Right, please check if Torby's connector is connected to the vehicle and ignition is on. Now that's just a test for you guys. Um, obviously I haven't turned the ignition on yet. I uh, just wanted to see uh, and show you how that works. So, um, let's see, verify that the vehicle is ODB2 compliant also. Right, so uh, now we'll switch the ignition on to the uh, ignition position. Like so. We'll go back to the main menu again and select diagnostics and then we'll go through the, um, the process again. It's searching through the, um, the protocols there. There we go. Um, readiness OK 6. Uh, we don't have any fault codes on this one. Um, thank goodness at the moment <laughs> so um, we can't read anything but what I might do is I'll, I'll, um, I'll disconnect the math sensor just to create a false code so um, so we can have a look and see how it works we can scroll down through there as well um, it says read codes erase codes uh, data stream O2 sensor um, there's a lot of stuff on here um, go to vehicle information, we can have a look at that. There's nothing on that one. Um, oh, actually, is there? Hold on. Getting data. VIN number, not supported. Uh, CID, so vehicle number. Oh, yes, there we go. It has the um, CVN number as well there. Obviously all this is programmed into your ECU, so all this is doing basically is just a reader. So read codes, getting supported TDC codes, has no fault codes, so obviously that's a good thing for me. <laughs> um, if you want to erase your codes, you then get, if you've got a fault code, um, say you fixed the vehicle from what the code was, and then um, you want to erase that code and get rid of the management light on your dashboard you then go to erase codes let's try it with our engine running data stream getting supported data stream here we go we've got live data now which is coming through um, 25% uh, which is your engine temperature which is at 36 degrees what else have we got uh, roast per minute 1125 if we blip the throttle see that goes up and um, you've got short term long term I don't know any of the settings to me without having to look them all up. Um, we've got a math sensor reading as well. Um, spark advanced, 10 degrees. It's pretty, there's a lot of information on here. A lot of information. This is a really good piece of kit. I'm very impressed with this. You've got your O2 sensor. Um, voltages. This, I'm quite impressed with this. This gives you a lot of information on here. Right, 
I've disconnected something. Let's have a look. Right. Yes, we've got our uh, we've got our engine management light on, which means we've got a fault. So um, let's go into our diagnostics. So we'll go to diagnostics there. Press OK, and then we'll be cycling through everything. read codes we want so we've got a P0113 one of two genetic pending air intake temperature sensor circuit high um, basically I've disconnected that um, we've got generic pending because there's also another um, sensor missing manifold obsolete because it's a manifold pressure sensors not on um, Basically this is your two codes. Right, I've reconnected the sensor, we've still got our light on. I haven't started the engine because the uh, diagnostics within the car may, um, may detect that the plug is now plugged back in again and may take our light out. So I'm just going to do it manually here. So obviously we've read our codes, we've, um, we've ascertained as to what the fault is so now we're going to go to erase codes um, erase your relevant information yes switch your ignition on which we've done and it's now been cleared so uh, now we've done that let's start the engine and see if our lights gone out Yes, that's um, that's done the job. The light's gone out. Um, now, if we go back and read our codes, the vehicle has no fault codes, so um, that means it's uh, deleted them as it should. This fantastic little reader. I'm uh, I'm very impressed. This one is definitely going to be living in my glove box. Um, so if you want to get yourself one of these, um, the link is in the description down below. Fantastic reader, uh, and definitely worth the money. Thanks for watching guys, have a great rest of the day, and uh, see you next vid. Very good.